and elsewhere in Lagos, some motorists say they suspect the federal government is making move to increase fuel price. Plus, TV news correspondent Destiny Momo has more. These motorists who have been on the queue for hours as they are left with no choice and lamenting the continuous pain they are faced with trying to access fuel for their vehicles. The situation is very, very unbearable. I've been on the queue over two hours now and uh, I just entered the filling station. In fact, apparently our government is not doing something good for the masses based on this first scarcity. Uh, prior to this time, I believe that our refinery is supposed to be effective, 100%. But I don't know why it's not working and they put somebody... It's making life even more difficult than it has already been. It's terrible. You know, at first we thought it's something that would linger for maybe three days or four. But now it's taking two weeks and more. I won't be surprised if um, they bring in any a new system, a new idea to you know increase the fuel. I won't be surprised. I think that's what because people are already getting accustomed to buying uh, it at the rate that is in excess of 200. I don't really know, but I think it may be because of they want to increase the fuel price. I think that is the reason why the key is too much. The price have already changed. It's no longer the 162. It's now 165. Some station you see 162. But by the time you get to the pump, they would use their calculator to do the magic for you. One hundred uh, like yesterday, I bought in the uh, Yanapaja, two hundred and twenty naira with calculator. I say no joy, no joy. Emmanuel, a transporter who claimed to have queued for the better part of the day just to access fuel, says he will charge about seven hundred naira to a jar from Sandfield just to be able to make a profit. Two hundred and fifteen era. I'm all passing a person one carry. See how the old boy are. Me I try me. If I don't carry seven hundred a jana. If I don't go there, I yes. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industries, Mine and Agriculture, NASIMA, had at the weekend called on the federal government and other stakeholders to find a definitive resolution to the lingering fuel queues. The association urged the federal government to stop the importation of petroleum products and take immediate steps at ensuring that all refineries are working in full capacity for a definitive end to the importation of petroleum products. Destiny Mama, Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.